So in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing file handling in C. In the last video, we have discussed fseek function in C. We are left with one more function that is ftel function. So in this video, we will discuss about that function, everything about this function with the help of a program, right? Practically, I will show you. In file handling, we have some special function like fseek, ftel, rewind. So while you are randomly accessing the file, then these functions play an important role. These functions are having their specific applications, right? So these are also very important, you know, in file handling. So everything about FTL function we'll discuss in this video. But before that, I just want to tell you one thing: for the GATE 2022 aspirants, an academy has started All India Mock Test series in the month of January every Sunday. As we know, practice is the key. So these mock tests will definitely boost up your confidence and help you to, you know, uh, identify your weak areas. And you can take these mock tests for free. These are full-length mock tests covering the entire syllabus, and these has been these tests has been curated by their best educators. So here you will experience actual exam-like uh, setting, and you will also get all India ranking so that you know you can you can see where you are standing among the other gate aspirants from all over India and after every mock test you will get detailed video solutions by their experts so you can identify your weak areas and your strength and you can you know prepare according to that one more thing they are also going to conduct a combat on 30th of January and this is a live test and you can take this test also for free this combat consists of 20 questions and time limit would be 60 minutes. So here you will get a chance to compete with thousands of learners from all over India and you stand a chance to win up to 100% scholarship. Plus some exciting prizes like JBL speakers, Samsung tab, Amazon vouchers and much more. And after this combat also you will get detailed video solutions by their top educators. So that you can map your strength and weaknesses and you can you know change your preparation trajectory according to that. And they have also started few batches for GATE 2023 and 2024 aspirants from 27th of January. So you can also check out these batches. And use my code JKL10 to enroll in these free tests and to get 10% discount on your plus subscription. So all the details and the relevant links I'll put in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. Now let's see what is FTL function in C. See as the name suggests it will tell something. So what it will tell? It will tell the position of the file pointer in that file with respect to starting of the file. See, whatever I am saying, let me just, you know, uh, tell you what I am saying. Suppose I have a file abc.txt and in this I have Jenny Khatri. Only this I have in this file. This is starting of the file, right? And it would be started like index would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, something like this. So now at starting, if you open the file in read mode, then the file pointer would be here in the starting at here. So the position of this file pointer is 0th index 0. So using ftel function, you can find out the position of the file pointer. If suppose you have moved this file pointer like to a specific position using fseek, we can do this thing using fseek, we have moved this to here to k. And after that, if you will use ftel function, then what it will return? 6. Because the index of this k is 6, right? From the starting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 bytes you have skipped and at the 7th byte, the file pointer is right now. So it will tell the position of the, that file pointer, right? With respect to starting of the file, starting of the file, right? Not end of the file, starting of the file. One application of this ftel function is what? This function is gen generally used to find out the length of this file. Now how you can find out the length that also we will see with the help of a program, right? Now see, let me just write down a simple code. See I am opening this file in read mode, simple read mode, right? And I am just checking if fp is equal to is equal to null means error in opening file or you can say can't open file and directly exit from this point only right otherwise what we will do at first I am going to print where is the file pointer so directly you can use ftel function what is the syntax ftel and simply you are supposed it will accept only one argument that is the file pointer so file pointer is fp right and see return type of ftel function is what long int this is the return type and we have simply ftel and here we will use file pointer here file pointer 
the name of the pointer, right? The return type is long int. What it will return? Integer value, right? So whatever it will return, that thing I'm going to store in a uh, integer type of variable. Suppose variable I'm taking uh, position, POS. So before using this, you have to declare position, POS. Position is equal to FTL, whatever it will return, I'm going to store in POS and I am going to print that simply. Percentage D because it is, uh, you know, int, the data type is int and I'm printing here what? POS. That's it. And at last F close. So if you will write down this program, then what it will turn, see you are opening this in read mode. So definitely the file pointer at starting would be here only. Whenever this file would be opened, the file pointer would be at the starting of the file. So what it will return, the POS would be zero. So it will return zero. Here is the file pointer, right? Now, suppose I have moved this file pointer using fseek, fseek and here I'm using fp and the offset, offset I'm providing five. And from the starting seek underscore set. Now, five is off offset, so one, two, three, four, five, right? Now, here file pointer would be at this position. Here we have space, right? Five byte, you are going to skip from the starting and file pointer would be here. So after that, if you will print the file position, then what it will return percentage directly, I am writing in fprintf only f10. This also you can do. Rather than writing this in two line like f tell a POS is equal to f tell then I'll print POS directly you can in printf only you can write down this function f tell POS right. So it will print what now the position of file pointer is here so it will return 5 right. If you will move the file pointer backward like f seek fp uh, like minus 3 and seek underscore cur from the current position and after that if you will print this according to that it will give the where is the file pointer right now see file pointer is here suppose here after this printf after this printf i am writing f get c i am reading a single character and in ch i am going to store that thing right and i am printing only percentage c ch and after this again i am printing printf percentage d f tell i want to check where is the position of this file pointer so after this see at right now file pointer is here so what it will print space the character is space only right so it will print space right and now f tell fp now what is the position of the file pointer see space it will print and file pointer would be moved to next one f get c will do this thing it will print this and file pointer would be moved here so now at file pointer is now at sixth index so it will print six now right if here you will print a complete string using f scan f you can also do see if after this line in this i have jenny khatri is Awesome. Suppose this I have in this file. And after this printf, what I am writing? F scanf. Scanf function is used to read from the file, formatted read, right? So what is the syntax? File pointer, then percentage s, the format specifier, and whatever you will read the string that I'll store in str in this str. Right? And after this scanf. Suppose I am printing percentage s, this str I am going to print and after this again I am writing percentage d f tell fp. So what would be the output? Right now, right now the file pointer is here at k after this line. So this khatri would be considered as a complete string, right? Not space. If space occurred then end of the string right so this khatri would be considered as a complete string and this would be fast and stored in str now it will print khatri here 
this line will, will print khatri right and now what is the position of f tell how many bytes 1 2 3 4 5 6 like at 6 then this is 7 then 8 9 10 11 and at 12 now it will print 12 I hope you got this right because we are reading a complete string so now file pointer would be moved what is whatever the length of the string that many characters the file pointer would be moved and now the position of file pointer would be 12. Now I have told you this function is also the one application is what to find out the length of the complete file right now what is the length how to find out see I hope now till now you got this right I am going to rub this and I am going to write down another syntax fseek fp offset is 0 seek underscore end seek underscore end means here we are going to move file pointer backward how offset is what 0 only so file pointer would be here only right and now you can simply print the position of this file pointer whatever the position that would be the length of the file that's it right so simply here you can print printf percentage d f tell fp and what it will print the position of file pointer right now is here so this is how you can use this ftl function to find out the length of the file and if su suppose here you have space so one more character that is 23 right so according to that it will print whatever the length of the file right so this is one application of this ftl i hope now you have some idea about this ftl function how you can use this function and why we use this function right now let me show you practical so let me just create a new file ftl dot c right and we are going to go with this thing because till this line it would be same so just go with this thing right and i am opening this in r mode only right abc.txt file in abc.txt what we have this we have jenny khatri is awesome right this content we have so now at starting rather than using two line i am just printing the location in one line only percentage d and here only i am using f tell right fp and f close so at starting this would be the it what it would print zero right because the file pointer would be at zeroth in index at the starting of the file right see it is printing zero right now after this f tell c suppose i am using f get c one character i am reading right ch is equal to f get c right and after that again what i want to print the location if you want to print the character you have read that also you can print but here my main motto is to get you familiar with f tell function so after this see let me just format this slash n with slash n so now again i am going to run this and what output you will get here see 0 and next time the file pointer would be at one index if you want to print the character then simply you can add this line and again let me just run this and show you see it will print 0 first of all first is 0 then it will print j j it will print and after that e the index of e is after you know f get c will first of all print j that character and then cursor would move to one position you know uh, forward so here we have one next time it will print the location would be one if suppose rather than a single character here i am going to print the complete string i am get i am writing f scan f fp comma the format specifier would be percentage s and uh, i am going to print that in str i will store that in str and rather than ch here i am printing what str percentage s fine 
and now str i have taken this f p sorry here we have uh, comma right after this i am printing after printing the string i am printing what is the location so jenny would be considered as a complete string that would be printed c 0 then jenny would be printed and after that 5 is the that what uh, location of your file pointer 5 at fifth index right at space j j j e double n y the length of this string is 5 so length is 5 that is why it is printing after that 5 so if if you want to use this to get the length of the complete file then what you can do here i am using f seek function offset is 0 and then i am writing what seek end right so now we have moved the cursor to the end of this file right and after this i am printing the location like printf ftel fp right so so now let me just run this and show you what output you are getting see 0 at starting it will print 0 then we are printing a string that is jenny and then we are moving this to the end of the file right from the end of the file 0 is the offset so file pointer would be to the end of the file and now I am printing the position of the file pointer that is why that is what the length of this file so that is what 23 so 23 is the length of the file you can you know find out you can count these characters these are 25 right so 23 no 25 23 is the length of this file 23 right so i hope now you got the basic idea about ftl function now you can use this fseek also you can use here and then ftl also you can move using fseek forward and then from the current position to the backward and again you can use ftl to get the position and these things i hope you can do yourself practice right so that's it for this video now so that's it for this video and in the next video we will see rewind function in file handling. So now I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care.